it's your girl Patty B, and I'm back, back, back with another video. This stinks. What? This stink. No, no, <laughs> no parts. What's happening, you guys? It's been a little minute since we did a little video. We come, uh, we're gonna do some questions people sent in for us. Q&A flow. Mm -hmm. While I do my mask, we can uh, answer some questions. You can go first. Okay, okay. So first question we got here. Let's see. I think we should do the question that's been asked the most first or we can start off with did you get a question about how we met go ahead i did but go ahead you did i'm sorry i did ask you you go first it's and then i just take over <laughs> okay so how we met that is a proper question so yeah uh how we meet man so how we met you know um Slitting DMs, you know what I'm saying? One of the down questions, you know what I'm saying, on, on IG, it was like, it was a picture, one of them little, you know, you know how it'd be with it, like, rate out of one out of 10, you know, are you cute, are you sexy, would you date me type of deal, and it was like, you know, one of those all the above. I said, okay, let me see what's happening here, you know, the slid in DMs, rest is history. So, yes. We did meet on IG. Instagram for the old folks. Yes, the older did. folks. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Instagram's where we met. Um, what's crazy is oh, a lot of people that we already knew, like knew of us already, we just didn't know each other. So, like, she had cousins that went to Central. Yeah. And I went to Central. And, like, she had an auntie that was going to the same church as me. Didn't even know. So it was just, it was crazy how, like, a lot of people that we already knew, other friends and stuff, kind of already knew about one another. But. Yeah, we had mutual friends. A lot of mutual friends. <laughs> like, like, people already knew. And they was like, when she was asking, you know, people about me, whatever. Um, some of her some family kind of already knew. You know, so even though somebody was, uh, Funkin' when we went out of town, you know what I'm saying? Who, but who was funkin'? You know, Buddha got on the phone and all that extra stuff. Oh hey, yeah. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to make sure, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's my that's my little cousin, you know. Oh you know, yeah. I gotta just see who she with. So mm -hmm. but that, Cause, you know, cause I was kinda quiet and I didn't let nobody know my business. So same way, you know, we we was low key. Ain't nothing wrong with being low key. But nevertheless, it was definitely from IG, rest is history. So it can be done for anybody out there saying, you know, can I find my husband, can I find my wife on social media? You can, but. It's a risk. <laughs> it's a risk. Do your background checks. There's a lot you of did a, out there. You did a background check on me? Do your background checks. <laughs> Do your police reports. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Do your whole facts. Do all that. Just make sure. Did you say whole facts? Make sure. Oh my God. That person who you with is going to be the right person. This man said you whole know. facts. Yeah. It's real talk. You know, you got to gotta ask around. You got to check a couple stuff. Who'd you ask, ask about me? Ask some homies and smash and all this kind of stuff. You got to ask around. You got to make sure <laughs> you're dealing with somebody. You know, who? Who who you ask about me? Gosh, here you go. Anyway, um, so we got that question out. That's new. You never told me that. Let's see. Another popular question. <laughs> he don't want to answer my question. <laughs> we we, we got to address this question. Everybody <sighs> just asking the same question. Are we having another baby? Oh, my baby upstairs is crying right now. Right. Being annoying. Um. Unfortunately, I don't have any more balls. Ah! Um, my ah! testicles is gone. I can't reproduce. So, 
We won't be having any more. We kids. going down to the courthouse right now. <laughs> you play it. Huh? What you talking about? You gonna give me another baby. Wait, what thought we I thought you said you only wanted one kid. Hey man, be quiet. You okay? So you want you want to keep dealing with that? You should have gave me a girl first. Well, you should have put more work in. You would have got a girl. See, that's that bull. <laughs> anyway, next question. Uh, to be continued on the baby. Um, we will see if I can get my um, balls back in place. Shut up, fool. So uh, hold on, wait. To add on to the baby question, though. Cause this was this was funny. She said, "Hold on, wait. Let me go. Here she is." She said, "How the heck y'all go so long without having more kids? Are y'all on birth control?" LOL. I'm serious though. I can't stop having babies. Ooh, you know what? That is a excellent, <laughs> excellent, excellent question. Mm -hmm. At a point in time. She was on birth control. Um, wasn't working out. Um, the body does a lot for the birth control. It's really, I, honestly, birth control is really, really bad for a woman's body. Like, it's really, really bad. Um, it, it can definitely affect, you know, period flow. It can affect body weight. Um, it can affect sex drive. Um, so we definitely got rid of doing birth control just because of it's it's really really bad um so what we do is what you do well actually what i do <laughs> she don't do this but it's an app it's called flow i don't know if you can see this well go over here. yeah flow that's the app right there when i say this app is birth control naturally it is perfect Literally, whenever she has a period, I just plug it in. It shows me, you know, it's just a pattern. Rate. You don't see how long she's gonna be on the period. Then it shows the days when she is most fertile. Then the days you don't want to, can't touch her. <laughs> Men, I'm telling you, you gotta, you gotta have self control. You know, self control is gonna be key when not trying to have another baby. So, but it shows when she ovulated, it shows the times when she's less likely. Um, to not get pregnant honestly there's only really about two to three days in a month when a woman is most fertile to get pregnant when she's ovulating the mother days you cool that's the key so when the day she's ovulating you, I'm telling you now you gotta if you want to strap up you can do so or if you ain't good pulling out you don't touch her because boom boom it don't, it don't take much to you know what I'm saying? For that sperm to go to the egg, and boom, here we go again. So, that's my key. It's my key, because she don't keep up with it at all. If it wasn't for, for me, we'd be on number, baby number four or five. Right? <laughs> so, yes, I'm being responsible with this one. Um, but Flow. What, but? Download the app called Flow, and like I said, you can see everything. You can put in, you know, symptoms, put in days I have had sex. But it tracks everything. And like you say, it's it's been saving me for sure. Cause it'd be days I'll be having to oop before stuff gets started. Yeah, look like hold on wait. Is this a good <laughs> this a good time? Okay, hold cool. Or is this a bad time? Well, I gotta gotta be extra careful. He do cut me off. He say no to me. Hey, gotta make sacrifices sometime, unfortunately. But <sighs> hey. Um honestly though, men and women I suggest the app called Flow. There's other different apps out there you can use, download for sure, but I use the Flow app. And like I say, it just tracks her, you know what I'm saying, menstrual cycle. Um, and that's what's been helping us for the last two years. So, definitely, download Flow. It's free advertisement, I know. Free advertisement for that app. Yeah, we ain't getting paid. Yeah, we ain't paid for that. But, <laughs> nevertheless, I want to get that info to everybody that yeah. was definitely wanted. Y'all asked, so we gave it to y'all. Yeah. All right, All you, right. you can ask your next question. Okay. 
Um, this is a good one. Somebody said, this is actually a question for a challenge. They said, are we going to do an ice bath challenge? And you know what? I haven't thought about that. I thought that'd be pretty, pretty fun to do. So she's always putting me through the torture. Um, we'll make him do it. No. Challenge. There's going to be two of us. <laughs> you doing it too. If I got to go through all this freaking hot this and hot that and wax this. First of all, the hot pickle challenge was your idea. You put yourself through it. The wings, we was already at the bar getting wings. So that was just random. And I wanted to see you sweat. Which you did. Ooh. You weren't even gonna eat nothing at first. I was eating them by myself. Oh, as soon as you start eating, I record it. The wings, boy. I've never in my life had food to where like your teeth is hot. My teeth was burning. <laughs> How can your teeth burn? Like I never even heard that of like your teeth burning. But yeah, my teeth was actually burning. And I was like, yeah, bye. I can't do this. Your but to answer your questions, we are doing more challenges. That may be one of them. Yep. Definitely more challenges here to come, most definitely. Uh, do do you let your partner pop your pimples? I love it. I be trying, he be running. I just be wanting to pop his pimples. That's how I show my love. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. it happens, but um, yes, pimple popping does happen. Normally, Forced. it is <laughs> her popping mine. She normally always pop her before I can even see it. So, you right. Yeah. That's why I gotta do this mask now. My face broke out. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. my right. mm -hmm. Um, where do we go on our first date? I remember what I wore, but I don't remember what oh, we went. Oh, I think we was at Cheddar's. Yeah, we did go to Cheddar's. Yeah, that was the first day. Yeah, yeah, I had on them black and white leggings. Oh. <laughs> I remember <laughs> I was leggings. You just had on leggings, huh? No, top, no shoes, <laughs> just leggings. Well, no, I had on the black and white leggings with the white cami and my black leather jacket. Uh, I remember. You said leggings. I'm thinking like... I don't ever see the woman just in leggings. I didn't, you know, I seen more than that, but okay. But yeah, it was Cheddar's, you know, that's where it was at. Cool food. Um, what was your first thought when you found when we found out I was pregnant? Uh, that's a good question. What was my first thought? Uh, my first thought was like. Hey, this really happening right now? No. <laughs> mm. um, I know I definitely wanted kids. It was definitely all of a sudden, for sure. Keep it 100. For real. Um, but yeah, I was just taking it all in. Like, all right, you know, it's about to happen. Man up, let's get it done. He was way more calm than me. Yeah, I was. I was crying. That's good. We, we, we had each other's back. You know what I'm saying? Through the whole time. Yeah, you said, what you, what, what do you want to do right now? And I said, go home. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to go home. And then a lot of stuff went, like, it's like, as soon as you found out you was pregnant, the sickness uh -huh. was out of control. I was, like, on my deathbed. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I spent four days in the hospital. I think she's going to make it. Yeah, I was, it I was, was concerned for, for her. I thought the baby was. I was like, "What's what's going on?" He was like, "Oh, the baby's gonna be okay. It's just mm -hmm. you know." He was taking everything out of me, and I was looking like a zombie with bones. Goodness, you! I, I was so small. Because she she had to lose at least like thirty pounds. Like it was just my best wish. friend. One of my best friends mm -hmm. is so tiny. Like, I could fit her clothes like. It was an extra small dress, and I was fitting, and it was still a little loose on me. Everything like it went snug, nothing. Have y'all seen that movie, bro? Uh, Fifty Cent. He got real. Next small. question. 
<laughs> Next question. I don't even know Next that. question. <laughs> Next question. Look, look, and look Ooh. at your phone. No, See what questions no, we got. No, no, Next. Go okay. Um. At what point did he know you was the one? Day one, huh? Good huh, question. Day one, huh? Before I figured out, I was like, you know, it was the night before we met. I was dreaming. And God told me, you know, it was like, it's going to be this woman you're going to come and encounter with. She's going to have some hazel brown eyes. She's going to have some real natural hair. Real beautiful woman. Very intelligent. When you meet her, make sure you have a good first impression with her. And the rest will be history. And that's how I found out that it was all in pocket. I'm not even going to front. Like, I used to have dreams all the time, like about my wedding day. And like, I was walking down the aisle. I always seen the man but I never could see his face. But I, would, but I knew he had dreads. That's so funny. Hmm. She like dreads. That's just, I always had that dream. Interesting. Just no face. I just seen hair. And his back was faced me all, all every dream. That's funny. Kind of go more in depth of that for real, for real. Um, as we began to get closer, um, over time, I just felt like, you know, our connection was getting stronger and like, she was a lot different from a lot of girls in this generation. Um, I could never, I don't know, it just seemed like a lot of, I'm not even just saying women, but a lot of men and women in generation is always trying to have that backup plan, figure out what's gonna be next, you know, just in case this won't fail. And like, I just felt like she was really loyal to me and she was really down for me. Um, even at times where, I, you know, I wasn't all in or all serious, you know, she's showing she was down for me and loyal to me. Um, that's when I knew, I was like, you know, if I got a woman that's showing that loyal to me. Cause I, I've never really had a woman to be, but just like loyal, you know what I'm saying? Like loyalty is just like something rare, super, super rare in this generation, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, all, all I need is just somebody to be loyal to me and be all about me. And then we can make it happen from there. And boom, here we go. And on top of it, it made it a little bit easier too, knowing, you know, you got God in your life, you know what I'm saying? I got God in my life. And just like, damn, we, we good then. Let's get it. She she wrote a paragraph. Like, but they all good questions. Good grief. They say, is marriage what you thought it would be? That's the first question. You guys should go ahead. Um, Let's go tell people yes. I mean, I felt like we was already married without the legal part. We come, we was already kind of staying together, and I was already cooking for you. <laughs> I was already doing wifely stuff. I think for me, the biggest thing with um, with marriage is. As far as, uh, it was kind of, I mean, at, cause at the beginning when, you know, when we found out, you know, she was pregnant, of course, we wasn't, you know, married or nothing. Yeah. We were still like, you know, we're not going to rush the whole moving in together phase and stuff, which we wanted to still, you know, make sure we did everything right and <clears throat> took care of business. But I was like, you know what, just because you're going to be pregnant, we ain't got to rush everything. Mm -hmm. So we took our time. We had separate houses for a minute, then of course we finally came together. Um, but I would say, yeah, I mean, 
growing up, I mean, I just felt like, you know, I just wanted a woman to, you know, be about me and, you know, cooking and cleaning. I mean, you know, that's cool with daddy. We all do that. Um, <laughs> what? No, we don't. Yeah, we do. Anyway, but, I mean, having that, you know, that love for one another and being able to make each other happy, um, that is something that I imagine marriage being. Um, I guess something a little growing up in my household, um, my grandpa, um, it was more of, you know, you take care of the bills and, you know, the mother take care of the household, which in some senses is still that way, but, um, you know, she works too, I work too, so I don't, I don't make her just cook all the time, you know, if I got to get in the kitchen, I do my thing too. I clean dishes, I, you know what I'm saying? He come home and say, woman, my dinner better be done. Oh, I'll snap. <laughs> right. Carson P. Get out the bed. He want to be baby. I don't know what his deal is. I really don't. Okay. Yeah. Um, Everything is great with marriage, though. It's good. Yeah, it is. If you didn't marry Earl, who would you have wanted to marry? Yeah, who asked that question? <laughs> Nobody. Yes, sir. <laughs> it say, Earl, does your wife cook as good as, as expected, and what's your favorite meal she makes? Um, she pretty she cooks pretty good. You know, I'm satisfied with the cooking for sure. Um. Cause if it's nasty, I'll tell them don't eat it. <laughs> don't yeah, eat it. Satisfied with cooking. Um, just a couple things. I like those. Um, we haven't had them in a while though. Those uh, loaded with the um, I can't think of what it's called. Bell the, peppers. The, the bell peppers. Yeah, them are really fire. You're like, ain't it loaded bell pepper? Ain't mm -hmm. one of these? Yeah, them is really fire. Um. Yeah, we just had some fire Alfredo. That was really, really good, too. Yeah, it was. Yeah, so I think them two, um, for sure, is on top of my list. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. And my wings. You like my oh, wings. Oh, crap. See, and it's been a minute since it had to... She be, she be fake. Anyway. <laughs> but, yeah, wings is definitely fire, too, for sure. Yeah. Um, where's your next vacation to and why? We haven't really, we, we, okay, so we're supposed to be doing a vacation in December. A couple's trip. Yeah, a couple's trip with, uh, with my brother and his fiance. Y'all be seeing uh, them in our videos soon. Yeah, coming soon. Mm. Um, and they saying that everybody, you know, they want to go to LA. Um, to be determined, you know, we'll see, you know. But LA might, might be the next move since none of us been there. Um, we'll be doing that trip here um, for New Year's. Mm -hmm. Normally, we always try to do something for New Year's. But yeah, we'll be in uh, LA for New Year's. Hopefully, get to catch a Lakers game. That'd be that'd be dope. See my boy LB, you know, get off. Yep, LA. Well, we already know the answer to this question. Who is the goofiest? Who is goofiest? Me! Oh, snap. You think you goofier than me? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Um, Earl, if you can take her anywhere on Earth, where would you take her? Anywhere on Earth? Yeah. Okay, I think this is ready. Hmm. That's a good question. Where do I want to go? Well, anywhere where we go, um, we definitely have your girl uh, Beyonce in it, you know, because, you know, that's, that's fave, huh? Yes, <laughs> baby! Yeah. 
But um, honestly, I wouldn't mind going to the motherland. You know what I'm saying? I think that'd be a pretty dope trip. Mm-hmm. I would like going over there and just seeing how it is over there. To uh, South Africa? Yeah, South Africa. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. good. Yeah, I wouldn't mind going over there one time. So I would go there and Beyonce would be over there performing. Turn into a uh, Bay Africa one time. You know, you know. Let's <laughs> <laughs> say, how do y'all keep your relationship slash marriage spiced up? Um, surprises, random, like I don't know, gifts. I don't know how we keep it spicy. Yeah, definitely doing things is kind of just randomly instead of doing on the all the time on a natural, you know, Mother's Day, Father's Day, birthdays. Just doing stuff here and there to kind of remind you that your significant other is definitely important. Just, um, you know, sending nice little, you know, lengthy notes here and there, saying how much you appreciate them. Um... Kind of just, uh, just keep just doing stuff randomly to me. What kind of just keep kind of keeps it going. Um, that way, if you do it random, then when the time comes for birthdays and stuff, you have to do just super big stuff. Right. You know? So just making sure you know we both taking care of um, you know on a daily with the uh, you know doing certain things. Um, but yeah, always complimenting each other. Said how you know beautiful how she is. Of course, you know. Um, but yeah, I like to say, um, and it don't have to be stuff bought. Like I say, I mean, just right. send itself like, you know, say you're very beautiful to me. I love you. Um, you know, coming kind of home. Just letting that person know that you're thinking about them. Yeah, during the like, day. What yeah. I try to do too is like, I try to make stuff off her plate easier. So like, if um, so in, sometimes in the mornings, you know, because I know if she had to go out of her way to drop, dropping her son off. Um, I drop him off at stage so she can go straight to work, make it a lot easier for her, you know. Or like, you know, if she had a long day at work, you know, I try to, I do the cleaning up and then I cook, you know what I'm saying? Kind of just make making it a lot easier for her on herself, you know. So kind of just, you know, doing just stuff like that here and there, helping each other out, um, and kind of keep things, you know, together. Mm, this is from Tatiana. She's stupid. How do y'all put up with each other morning breath? <laughs> we don't even talk to each other when we first wake up. <laughs> I think we, we go in the bathroom, handle our business, then come back and talk. But like, just rolling over. Hey. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> well, well, in the morning, funny. my breath smell like, you know, cherries and strawberries anyway. So, you know, I, I never got that, you know. That's my morning breath, you know, cherries, strawberries. Next question. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, because I ain't gonna say, how often do you sneak away for Chick fil A? It's a good question, actually. Cause I be I be in the car, I be seeing like random cups and stuff. So that is actually a good question. <laughs> That's gonna remain nah, my business. No, 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 no. Yeah, that be happening. Uh, yeah. She ain't trying to. And then that. she said, "Does Earl have a sneak away food spot?" Now that's a good question, cause you stay with food on your seat, on the passenger seat. I mean, if I only sneak away food spot, really, is Kidoba. That's it, really. You eat Kidoba without me? Yeah. You know this. This is news. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. I did not know that. That or, you know, I'll be... I'll be you stay to, go to Subway. I've been to Subway in a while. I always I always see a Subway or a Quick Trip. It's, it's, it's normally Kidoba. Um, I used to. I can't always, believe you. I used to go. Listen, we supposed to communicate with one another. Listen, I'm at work. You know, what I'm saying coworkers. Hey, let's go to. Ah, that's that's what you gonna do. Blame it on the coworkers. That's the only place where I'll be Smart. like, you know what? Well, I'm I blame mine's on a coworker too. But you be solo. <laughs> uh, 
straight line. I can't even speak. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Man. Boing. <laughs> you funny. Yeah, you ain't got no more? Um, do y'all have dress competitions with other married couples? No, we really don't even have a group of married couples, you know. Like, friends wise. Um, let me see. So, I have another question. This is another challenge to Morgan's suggestion that we should do. They say, can we do a uh, eat a particular color for the whole day challenge? Yeah, I've been wanting to do that. But you just be pushing my ideas. See, that's why I need y'all oh, to comment in the comment Here section below on things that we should do. Because if I just say, hey, let's do this, you be like, what is that? Oh, that's doing too much. No. But then somebody else come and say that y'all should do this challenge. Then it's, yeah, we should really do this challenge. <laughs> Cause that's how it just happened. Because I've been saying this, we should do this challenge. Because I'm always, i always on YouTube watching videos. So, yeah. But we're going to go ahead and... Uh, you got any more questions? Challenges are coming, okay? Soon. Sooner than expected. Like right now, I want to do spicy noodles. But he don't want to do that. So, whatever. Um, we on 31 minutes now. So... Make sure you guys like, comment, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And if y'all think we should do a part two of this video, comment down below. Part two. And any more questions and everything, comment down below. And we out this thing. Peace.